Hi, Hiram here. Let me start off this video by saying don't do this. Do not try this at home. I'm going to do this so that you don't have to. This is the fancy heat canister thing, the, uh, the wick burner. The one where I made the modification where I pulled the wick out, put carbon felt tube in there with a piece of copper pipe in the middle so that I can fill it, refill it easier with alcohol. When I first tried this, I filled it up too high, and <clears throat> when the heat bounced back from the pot, it heated up this whole canister and made the alcohol kind of expand and flow out everywhere. I've had several people email me and say, no, that can't happen. You know, something, you did something else wrong. And I've had a couple people say, hey, try it. Let us see it. So that's what I'm going to do here today. I've already tried this once where... I filled it up to about the uh, about a quarter of an inch from the top of the canister and it ran all right but that may be because I didn't have the pan on top of it bouncing the heat back down so what I've done here is I've filled it up with a little bit more alcohol so it's actually up higher than the top of the the top of the canister which isn't the way you should run this at any time so let me light this You know, I am prepared here. I have several fire extinguishers. I have a bucket of sand. Not water. You don't want to use water on something like this. But uh, let's see what happens with it this time. Um, I'll condense the film here and speed it up. Yeah, this has been going for a while, and nothing seems to be happening, which is surprising. So what I'm going to do is put a pot stand on, along with a pot of water. The uh, burner itself is actually still cool to the touch, so I think that the heat bouncing off of the bottom of the pot maybe did something. So let's see what happens here. I'll take the pot off when it starts to flow over, if it does. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but now that the water is getting hot, now it is indeed flowing over just a little bit, not as much as it did the first time I tried this. I'm taking some pictures of this. Yeah, so as the water gets hot, It's making it overflow a little bit, but nowhere near as much as what it did the other day. Still, this isn't a safe thing. Yeah, also getting soot around the pot. Let me take the pot off. I don't know, can you see that? Now there's a little bit of fuel on the top side of the canister which is heating it up more. And I can see it, but the alcohol is starting to pulse up through the copper tube. That probably won't show up on the camera. It pulses up right to the edge of the copper pipe. There it's coming up. Went down. Coming up. Went down. So it's just going back and forth, or up and down I should say. So my, I still say, let me get rid of this water. I still say it shouldn't be filled up all the way. Just watching it, it's still in the tube, it's going up and down. But now it's dropping and see how the flame is going back to a regular flame. It burned off the little bit of extra that it didn't like in there. 
So, like I said, if you want to make this design, you're on your own. I think it's fairly safe as long as you don't overfill. I wouldn't fill up the canister any more than halfway with alcohol. In the other burns that I've done, if I kept it to halfway, I had no problems at all. With this, it was filled up almost to the top of the canister. But without the pot on it reflecting the heat back down, it just ran and ran and ran. When I put the pot on, which is at room temperature, 57 degrees, when I put the pot on, it reflected the heat down, which heated up the canister more. Do you understand what I'm saying? But uh, the point is, I think this is fairly safe, as safe as any alcohol stove. Just only put it about halfway full. You can see it in the pipe, looking down in, how high your alcohol is. But I'm sorry I didn't give you the spectacular overflow like what I saw. That's why whenever I test something new like this, I always put it in some sort of a container to contain whatever alcohol might flow out. But anyway, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.